So I was at five below recently, and by recently I mean a while ago because <laughs> I don't take forever to film things. But I found these. I found these fine liner type things and these alcohol markers, which was very interesting. So I thought I would come over here and try them out for you guys. Hello and welcome back to my channel. Hope you're doing well. I was not expecting to find these things at Five Below. Also, I totally forgot to explain what Five Below is. If you don't know, it is a store where everything costs five American dollars or less. So yeah, I, I, I forgot to say that, but I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. I mean, if anything, I guess I would find these fine liners, but absolutely not these alcohol ink pens is what they're called. So these caught my eye for two main reasons, aside from the fact that they're alcohol markers at five below. <laughs> but one, they actually came in a few different colors. There was this set and then there was a grayscale set. I decided to go for this one. But another thing is that they have brush nibs, which is very odd. <laughs> So if you are unaware about anything with alcohol markers, it's very rare that like cheap Copic alternatives will have brush nibs, even the more like higher end type of replacements like Spectrum Noir, like those don't have brush nibs. I think they actually recently came out with a brush nib thing, but for the longest time they didn't. <laughs> and then Prismacolor will sometimes have a brush nib, but these, these do. Both of the sets had brush nibs, which is very interesting. So of course, me being who I am, I had to try them out. So we got these. Got a piece of cardstock, got my coffee, hopefully I won't spill it, and let's do it. These have been sitting on my desk for quite a while now, but I'm, I'm going to swatch them. I didn't want to open them off camera. I'm not going to be drawing the final illu- oh, I'm so sorry, plants. You have to move for a minute. I'm not going to be drawing the final illustration in this sketchbook because the paper is a little weird. Like, it's different from other paper I've used. I want to give the markers a little bit more of a fair chance. I will swatch them in here, but in terms of, like, the bleed test and everything, I want to be sure that they have a fair shot. So I'm just going to be making the finished illustration I'm planning on making on this card stock. Ignore this marker bleed. <laughs> so I guess I'll start with the fine liners. These. <laughs> Worth 325. What a steal. We get five below given those not full price items. I don't know if these, I'm going to assume that they're waterproof, but it actually doesn't say anything about them being waterproof. So um, they look like fine liners. So let's assume that they are such, they say fine liners. <laughs> so is there anything in here? Uh oh, there's nothing in here. So I don't know, I can't see anything about them. As expected, they feel very plasticky, very cheap, because it's five below. What else was I expecting? I do have very low hopes for both of these and the markers, but we'll, we'll, we'll see what happens, I guess. Let's start with this one. These feel so strange in my hands. Oh my head. <laughs> they don't seem very, like, opaque, at least from this first one. Like, they're black, but the ink seems a little transparent. It's not too noticeable from a distance. Which I guess is good. 0 0.6. I wonder if these sizes are accurate to like the Micron liners. 0 0.8, 1.0. That's not. That's wonky. It's totally fine. And then there's a brush pen. It's a lot thinner than I expected it to be. I'm actually kind of surprised by this brush pen. Honestly, I think if there was just some different ink in here, it'd be really nice. Aside from like the plastic -y barrel, I think the brush nib itself is like quite nice. Let me see, what liners do I have for comparison? I don't use black liners a lot actually, so I don't have... Well then. Here's a sepia micron brush nib. And I need to stop, I'm a mess. Ignore my, for some reason, now bad handwriting. Honestly, pretty comparable. Again, the ink itself is a, a lower quality, but the nibs seem to be pretty okay. I'm pleasantly surprised by those. By the way, I have seen that other artists here on YouTube have gotten five below art supplies, but I purposely didn't watch any of those videos. These are the only supplies that I got from five below, but I didn't want to watch any of those videos in case they had these in here because I just wanted it to be my genuine first impressions in this video. But also if you want me to try out other supplies from Five Below, let me know. I definitely want to do these more like review type videos, I guess. Hello. <laughs> Again, of course, 
they feel incredibly plasticky and weird. There's no, huh. <laughs> there's no sort of like labeling on the barrel and then there's no, there's nothing. There's no like numbers or color names or anything. I'm assuming they take stuff they do stuff like that to help cut down on costs they have a brush nib on one side and then a chisel nib on the other which again this is very shocking i don't know if oh no <laughs> there's a little bit of ink in the in the cap and now it's on the back but it's fine i don't know what about brush nibs that make them very rare on like cheap marker alternatives they might be more expensive to produce i don't know hmm interesting I am intrigued. To be honest, I had very low expectations, and that being said, these are seeming pretty nice. Hmm, these seem very similar in color. Pants are kind of hard to take off, which I don't really like. Okay, very interesting. I'm very I'm definitely intrigued. <laughs> so my first impressions right off the bat. The ink quality is better than I expected, but also that being said, again, I had very low expectations. The caps are hard to take off and the plastic kind of hurts my hands. It's not my favorite thing in the world, but I mean, whatever. Okay, they are, they can go over this. All right, we're going to do a blending test and then I want to layer over each of these colors to see if they can layer nicely. I guess we'll go with these. Oh God, the ink is kind of dripping in the caps. This got so much darker. Well then. I mean, they did blend, but this did get a lot darker and I don't know what happened there. I wonder if it's because of the paper, but I mean, we'll guess we'll see once we get to the actual cardstock because since this paper is very soft, things tend to blend easier. Let's try these darker colors. Okay, these these ones aren't blending as nicely. <laughs> I mean, I, I guess it gets the job done. It's definitely a lot more rough. Okay, my camera for some reason wasn't court. <laughs> my camera for some reason wasn't recording, but here's the three tone thing. Again, for some reason, the darker colors don't blend well. I don't know how well you can see, but there's this like texture here. It's like very patchy. Oh, it is very dark though. I wonder why that is. Whoa! Uh <laughs> Did y'all just see that? <laughs> Look what happened. I opened it and it splattered everywhere. That's not cool. I don't even think I got a picture of this. Damn it! <laughs> That's a very big con. It's, it's sprayed everywhere, which is not good. I am suing. When you layer them, it's like the ink is kind of just pooling, and so there's this thick, this darker outline around all of them. You know how if you have watercolors, you can get that same effect there? I don't want to say I've never had that experience with markers before, but it's definitely not as common. But this happened with every single one of these. I mean, again, they are from Five Below, so I can't really expect much, but just some things to keep in mind. Again, I'm going to do the bleed test on this one because, well, maybe I should get a different sheet. Just to make it a little bit more fair on these markers, because this paper bleeds quite easily. Let's zoom out. Get my aesthetic shot back. Finish these markers because they sprayed on my drawing. Move my coffee over here so I can drink it. I don't know why I'm narrating every single thing I'm doing, but that's just how I'm living my life right now, I guess. I'll actually put a piece of double-sided tape on the top of here. Let's do it this way so we can really see what bleeds. Now we can see how much it bleeds. I wish there was some more variety in tones. I really like the yellow one, which was a little shocking because this is like a skin tone set and then also like i said there was the two tones that were extremely similar i think one of them is a little bit more orangey and one of them's a little bit more pink but either way they're very similar and i think they could have would just widen their thing if they have a color that's super super orange i think they could have had a color that was a lot more pink so then that way you just have a little bit more variety and it wouldn't be too out of place for a skin tone set but whatever <laughs> i paid five dollars for them if you have six markers and it was in a set of five how much is that per marker how do i do math 80 ish cents per marker i don't know if my math is right because i'm dumb and i haven't been to school in forever <laughs> so i mean that being said i think they're pretty fun to play around with but we'll see how this goes and i'll just go for it it's probably gonna be a girl because women I love when women. And I also didn't get pencils from Five Below because I just assumed there's just they're just gonna be like any other pencil. You really don't need anything fancy for your sketching. 
who's crying and why? These I just got, these are all different size leads and that's because for my digital sketching process, I always use different sized brushes depending on what layer, no. My brain is malfunctioning. <laughs> I always use different sized brushes depending on what part of the sketching process I'm at. And so I thought I wanted to translate that into my traditional art. But I used 0.7 lead for the longest time. And then after that, I used 0.5 lead for the longest time. But this is 0 0.2, 0 0.5, and 0.3. Because I'm extra as shit, apparently. <laughs> I also should have warmed up before this, but that's, I mean, would it be a skip vlog if I haven't warmed up? Let's lighten up this sketch. Let's draw her some lips because my, I, I draw people with lips now. <laughs> I hope you guys are all proud of me. I was thinking of having her skin be one of the mid-tone colors and then her hair being the dark one, and then maybe I can do her clothes with the yellowish marker. I want her hair to be curly. Do not like that. Let's have it part, like, right there. Let's draw a shape for now, and we'll fix- we'll, we'll figure it out later. <laughs> not sure I'm super happy with the face. Let me just do a winky face, because I mean... I mean, you know? You know those days? <laughs> I don't know how long her sleeves should be. Let's give her short sleeves. That was a <laughs> quick solution. <laughs> Let's make the bottom of the shirt flare out. Surprised I didn't go for one of my OCs. <laughs> Although none of these colors really fit them, so I guess it makes sense. This could be a distant relative of Mabel, I guess. I wonder if I should put her hand on her arm instead of underneath of the elbow. You wouldn't really see it much, but I mean, it's easier for me. <laughs> well then. Oh. Okay, well, you can get out of here. <laughs> Am I the only one who does this? Because I feel like every single time I try and just click the back of it to try and make pencil lead come out, it just- it never does. Especially when you're working with fragile last point three pencil lead, which... I know I did it to myself, but still. Ah! Uh, <laughs> kind of worried about how the lips are gonna turn out. Because when I do lips, I don't really draw them with the liner. I mostly just use shading to define the lips. But I'm a little worried about how the shading is gonna go. <laughs> what does a hair clip look like? I don't know what hair clips are. I mean, I do. I don't know what they look like. I mean, I do. Went out from memory. <laughs> oh no, I haven't again. Oh my god, I love her. This is my wife now. Shout out to all the artists who simp over their own drawings. <laughs> I am the CEO of that. <laughs> I'm filming a video, you wanna say hi? Don't scream in the microphone. So what? Uh is the best. Mm -hmm. Abby is the best potato. Mm -hmm. Leah was the best fat boy. Mm -hmm. Lily's the best star, but I will fight you if you say the best. <laughs> I mean, after... Period. After... Hi. After the, after the video of me painting Zola, everybody loves her, so I think they'll agree with you. I'm a little worried also about the line art, because normally when I outline, I go for a 0.1, but the smallest one is 0.2, which seems like it's not that big of a deal. And you'd probably be right, but this is me, and I'm very nitpicky with everything I do. So, I am in love with her. You're all invited to our wedding. <laughs> it happens a lot. I don't want it to happen anymore. <laughs> I'm not sure if those collarbones are right now that I'm looking at them. Let me just fix those real quick and then we'll move on to line art. I think that's better a little bit, maybe. Cool. Coolio. Alright. Time to see if I will hate using these liners. I'm gonna use this one. Probably use this to shade in some of the darker areas. And then maybe this. I don't know. I feel like one thing that's definitely going to change. I always use the thinnest in the pack to add like some hatching. But this one is the thinnest, so I don't know if that would really work out. <laughs> I guess if I just do this, it's fine. Honestly, I don't think I mind these liners all that much. They're pretty okay. <laughs> I did notice that these feather out a little bit. It's not too noticeable, but I mean, it's there. Yeah, I'm totally just using this one. <laughs> these can move. This is fine. Seem to be having a hard time. 
doing a line art today. Don't know what the issue is, even though it's probably the coffee. <laughs> Why did I say it like that? Coffee? Coffee? It's the New York in me coming out. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that completely messed up. So, for other liners I've used, if you like move fast, kind of like how I was just doing it now, the line will still be like kind of straight. For these liners, it's kind of like, this is an exaggerated version, but it kind of ends up looking something like that. Obviously, it's very exaggerated. And when it's this zoomed out, you can't really tell, but like, it's it's there. And I don't know why that is. <laughs> these plastic hurts my hands. I don't know what it is about it that's so different. It might be because it's more like, it's, it's a lot harder. And you'd think that'd be better, but it's not. <laughs> it hurts my hands. Those lines are hella wonky. But it do be like that. It really do be like that. Hello? Hello? I don't know what's happening. What? Uh oh, it stopped. Okay. <laughs> Alright, cool. I'm gonna let this ink sit for a little bit. We'll come back and finish this up. Okay, camera has been charged. My hand has been given a break. Let's do this now. <laughs> I always start with the skin whenever I color, so let's do that, I guess. I can move these plants now that my coffee is in here. They still look like they have that weird texture I was talking about, and they are a little bit harder to blend. Um, this paper, it's not too bad. It's just different from the paper I swatched it on. I think the ink also dries a little faster, which you think would be ideal, but it actually prevents blending from being easier, which I guess isn't too big of a con, depending on what type of art style you have. How's the layer? How's the bleed test going? Oh yeah. <laughs> This is only after one layer and it's already starting to get on the page underneath. Oh yeah, the texture is super obvious on this paper. Oh my god, this scent is so strong too. <laughs> I will say I like the colors themselves. The ink quality just isn't completely there. I mean, they're usable, clearly, because I'm using them. <laughs> Can these... Uh! No, they can't. They can't go in the back. I mean, to be honest, I personally don't actually care. But I know that's something a lot of people care about. Yeah, I don't know if you could really see the texture now, but it's definitely, <laughs> it's definitely there. And also this, I don't know what happened here. Bleed check. Hella bleeding. <laughs> I mean, I've always talked about before, all, all the markers just bleed. It just happens, <laughs> like down here and stuff, where I only did one layer, it bleeds a lot. I wanted to use this dark brown and this almost black for the hair. I'll use this for the regular color. I'll use the brown for the highlight. I mean, they're all brown. But I'll use the lighter brown for the highlight. And then I'll go back over with this one for some shading. I feel like it's kind of hard to get in the tinier spaces with these brush nibs. Please don't roll over, I'm coloring. Oh, these, uh, or I could throw the cap, that's all fine. Are these darker colors bleeding? Probably a lot. Oh yeah. <coughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'm right next to a window. Let me open this window. Because holy fuck, I'm dying from these fumes. Reluctant to open the window because now there's background noise and also someone can walk by and hear me talking to myself at any moment. But I'm dying, so. Hello, kitty cat. Please don't try and jump in my window because it is right next to me and I don't want you crawling all over my desk. Leo, don't do it. <coughs> this is how I die. I die via five blow alcohol markers. I guess now we'll go back with this color again and shade it. Actually, I wonder since it's so dark, if I should shade with a black. I think that would, let me get that fine liner. I think this way you might actually be able to see the shading. I don't think the darker color is gonna layer enough to actually make a difference. I guess it's good. Yeah, I mean, I think that's about as good as it's gonna get. <laughs> All right, we'll finish up with these. I think that will work for the highlights. Wait, no, it's this one that, yeah. <laughs> I think that'll work for the highlights. Or I could go outside the lines. That's also perfectly fine, even though it's not, and I need to fix it. At least there was a little bit more contrast between her skin and the shirt. If I shade with this, which would be the next darkest, 
I think there will be even less contrast. So I think I need to shade with this yellow. Add some front little lines. Adding a drop shadow because... Mm -hmm. Alright. No, let's actually shade. <laughs> wonder if I should use this side. Because chisel nibs tend to be... No, I hate it. <laughs> chisel nibs tend to be a little bit on the juicier end. So sometimes it's helpful to shade with them. We'll add some highlights. Then we'll add some highlights to these because why not? <laughs> but we'll call this an illustration. <laughs> So I can close this door, this door, this window. So here's the finished product. The main issue that I have with it is the texture. Because holy fuck, remove this tape. This is, that. there we go. That's how much it bled. Overall thoughts. Let me start with the liners, I guess. The ink is not as opaque as I would like, but the nibs themselves, I am pleasantly surprised with. I just threw this. <laughs> like I said, the barrels hurt my, I'm a mess, oh my goodness. Like I said, the barrels hurt my hands because they're very, very firm, cheap plastic. I don't know why I just smacked my thumb with it. <laughs> I do think that it's worth the money. Will it be replacing my regular fine liners? No, but I think that I'll definitely keep them. These do get the job done. These are perfectly fine. These, I guess I'll talk about the pros first. I really liked the colors and I haven't seen any other color pack other than the skin tones and the grayscale. I'm assuming that there's more. Even if there isn't, the fact that they do come in two separate sets is very interesting. I like the colors themselves. I think there could be some variety in tones, but I think overall, I think there is some pretty good options. So again, will, will these be replacing my other alcohol? Oh, alcohol? <laughs> will these be replacing my other alcohol markers? No. But I will say for five dollars, I enjoyed them. The people I would recommend these to. If you are someone who has never used alcohol markers before, but you wanna try them, but you aren't sure if you're going to like them, I think these are a very good thing to play around with because you get six markers for $5, which is a couple of cents a marker. And then I would say after these run out, if you enjoyed using these, then you can upgrade to some more better markers. <laughs> Given that they are $5, I think that the quality is great. I think that the color variety is great, but also compared to other alcohol markers, they're kind of trash. <laughs> but that's why I would recommend these for younger artists or artists who are looking to get into alcohol markers, but aren't completely sure if you'll like them. And even though I am someone who is very used to Copic markers and so will not be gravitating towards these very often, I will say the fact that I even found them in five below made me really happy because that means that companies are trying to give younger artists a more like larger variety of tools to work with. They are genuinely trying to make the best quality within a budget. So obviously these aren't like high-end alcohol markers, but again, for $5, they're pretty fucking cool. I think that's really cool because it's no secret that artists are not always taken the most seriously, and so the fact that they're even offering something like this in a store like Five Below makes me really happy. There, there we go. If you're an artist who has never used alcohol markers before, but you would like to try them, I think these are great. They're not good enough to continue working with throughout your art career, but they are good enough to give you an idea of how alcohol markers work. Those are my thoughts. <laughs> Here's the drawing. I kind of, I like it. it was, it's, a, it's a fun drawing. But let me know your thoughts on these. Let me know if you've tried these and have had a different experience with them. I would love to hear it. And also, if you have any other supplies that you would like me to try out, then let me know whether it's from Five Below or not, because I do want to do more videos like this. I guess kind of a hint of what the next sort of review video will be. I have these. I didn't know Tombow started making alcohol markers, but I have <laughs> these. So let me know if you would like to see those. Give this video a thumbs up to let me know that you're interested in that. And also, if you're new here, hello. My name is Oliver. I I post a lot of art. I post a video every single Wednesday and then bonus videos whenever I can. If you can subscribe, I really, really appreciate it. And if you want to see more from me, whether you're new or not, you can follow me on social media. Those will be on the screen now and linked in the description box below. Following me on Instagram is the best place to follow me because that's where I post my art and it's just I'm generally more active. And there will also be some videos on screen now and linked in the iCard for you to check out if you want. Thanks. So, so much. I really appreciate you sticking around and I will see you next week. Hopefully. <laughs> Bye.